Hello everyone, this is a Prime Auto series presented by Prep Bentia. The Prime editorials covered from different leading newspaper and the topic is Brave Reprave. And the crux is Pakistan has bought time but it cannot back away from its commitment to the FATF. Now going to move in detail. According to reports in Pakistan and India, the Financial Action Task Force, the global watchdog group has decided to grant Pakistan and other countries on its watch list a three-month extension on fulfilling commitments. In view of the pandemic, Pakistan was placed on the grey list or increased monitoring list in June 2018 and given time until October 2019. In order to complete a 27-point action plan on counter counting terror finance and anti-money laundering, failing that it would be put on the blacklist of high-risk jurisdictions facing traps, financial sanctions. This means that in effect, Pakistan will have had at least one extra year to meet its deadlines. Despite the fact that it has only completed about 14 points so far, the remainder is still a tall order and includes improving mechanisms to curb terror financings, amending laws to curb hawala transactions and placing sanctions against gas countries uh, who facilitate terror groups and completing the protections of groups banned by the UNSC and converting madras run by them into schools. This item demands more accountability by Pakistan on terror group as well as a safety within its ruling establishment on the benefits of allowing such group to exit at all despite this being Pakistan's third cent stand the FATF was list prior occasions of war in 2008 and 2012 to 2015. There is a little evidence that it has yet internalized that message in a US report on terrorism released in last week. Pakistan remains a safe haven for most UN proscribed groups and the report also adds that it steps to prosecute certain leaders of JM and LID are inadequate. In the past year, Pakistan has pursued indictments and against LIT leaders but not on serious charges. And uh, even 2611 mastermind Hafiz Saeed has only been convicted for being part of a banned terrorist outfit and for having illegal property. Meanwhile, LET operations commanders Jakir ur Rahman, Lakhvi, Sajid Mir, and GM Chief Masood Azhar appear to be at large. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan's reference in its Parliament to Al Qaeda founder uh, Osama bin Laden Martyr underlines the establishment's attitude to these groups. Pakistan is counting on its role in facilitating the Afghanistan's peace deal by pushing Taliban leaders to participate in order to mitigate its troubles at the FATF and with support from countries keen to conclude the Afghan deal, may even ensure a few more extension for its government eventually given the rigorous FATF action plan and uh, the combined pressure of countries in the group Pakistan's ought to well to realize that only clear and consistent actions would free it from the commitments at the FATF in any case giving a free rein to terror groups cannot be in its own interest thank you with the tag in these editions, we will keep updating you. Press the subscribe button and bell icon notifications for the latest news update. Thank you for watching. Namaskar.